Hello the internet, and welcome to episode 8. Now, I should mention that this will probably be a uh, rather short episode, because I'm mostly making this one to um, make sure my new microphone works before I do any bigger projects. <laughs> bigger episode. So, um, yeah. What I'm going to do in this episode is uh, work on the interior of this uh, small base here. So as you can see I don't have much space, but uh, that's the little bit of space I have. I'm going to do a bit of work. So um, in here I plan on making an uh, enchantment room. So that I can, yeah, so I can enchant books, uh, enchant uh, stuff. Yeah, anyways, so I made uh, the for it, so um, put this block here to represent where the um, enchantment table will be. Over here I have my um, automatic smelter, it's um, not as uh, advanced as the one I got on my spawn base, but um, yeah, uh, sometimes the simpler things are good enough. Manually put enough coal and fuel. Just a small chest for um, inputs. Don't really need much. <laughs> Couple of anvils. Yeah. And um, yeah. And somewhere down here, I plan on building up some kind of um, automatic brewing system because um, I'm going to do quite a bit of underwater building and um, with that it might be a good idea to um, not have to worry about uh, any other potions <laughs> so yeah um, first things first is to get the uh, brewing stuff ready and that might take uh, quite a while to get done so yeah I will be back once I have uh, chosen a um, automatic brewing design from the probably uh, dozens of them that exist on YouTube and uh, otherwise on the internet I'm gonna shoot the design and uh, I'll be back And I am back. So, um, as you may notice, I have had to uh, expand my base a little bit because, um, as I went through probably half a dozen different uh, designs for auto brewing uh, machines, some good, some uh, really impractical. Uh, I ended up finding a really large machine. Requiring 25 blocks in uh, in width and uh, just a few blocks in depth and uh, yeah, so um, yeah, the uh, basement floor I got expanded and uh, by extension I also expanded the upper floor, the yeah first floor. So um, yeah, the uh, the sign I have uh, gone for. As you can see in that um, a future mid does the editing right, you should see the thumbnail flying by with an annotation that should show up so you can click on it. And of course there should be a uh, card for you to click on, some, some suggestion card. <laughs> so yeah, this is the, uh, this will be the um, um, auto bring, uh, uh, pfft, uh, <laughs> auto -bring machine by um, CR3W Productions seems quite practical, although I can't uh, fit the entire of its uh, well additional uh, machinery to this with these uh, redstone lamps. I could maybe fit it in, but it's just simply not enough space in this uh, free height basement. Maybe if I load it down, but not gonna bother with that. <laughs> Maybe I'll do something about that later. But uh, yeah, I'm at least I'm gonna um, add in those um, 
droppers and uh, all that shit uh, in this design. And um, yeah, I'll be back after I either made some progress or completely finished it and forgetting it to make another recording once again. And uh, yeah, make sure to um, check that uh, video out so you know what I'm building. And um, yeah, I'll be back. And I am back. So, um, did some thinking and some um, inventory checking, and um, I um, ended up um, doing it uh, this way. So, um, yeah, I got all my droppers and hoppers set up with um, the. Um, I think this is most of the redstone. I think this is actually ready to be used, actually. Uh, so, um, there should be much more to do, actually. <laughs> Other than filling in all the uh, old ones, ones and such. But, uh, anyways, um, since in this machine speed is not all that uh, important, and um, uh, since I do have um, access to more than the bare minimum of hoppers. I decided to just hide some of them um, in a row behind. Uh, this would, um, if I had done the, <laughs> if I had done the um, the redstone lamp warning lamps that uh, is mentioned in the video, if you watched it, <laughs> uh, they would that um, then I could not have been able to do this probably. But uh, yeah, do this because now I can um, hide some of these behind the walls. So I do get some walls around here that will um, help the aesthetics a bit, make this look a bit more built into the wall, which I believe is important. I'm not sure if you noticed, but. Um, this is already a bit built in by the fact that um, the floor above. Yeah, uh, that's a bad example. Here we go. Maybe. Yeah. Anyways, it goes a couple more blocks. So um, you might notice when you enter this uh, basement that uh, it's a bit smaller than the main floor because yeah, I built this into the wall and made it. Yeah, uh, one block back for fitting redstone to gold box forward to make it built into the wall. But anyways, that's enough details. <laughs> yeah. So um, yeah. I do not have any of the ingredients with me right now, so I had to fetch them, and I <laughs> don't have all the kind of ingredients. I think so. Um. Not all of these will be useful right away, but I'm gonna um, anyways just uh, fill in the wall and figure out how I'm gonna do the water source here. I'm not fond of the floating block of uh, water that uh, was in that video, so let's see if I can find my own way, or maybe I do a variant of that. Uh, it's it is practical, so um. I don't know. I still need to um, place the um, activation button somewhere so that it connects to this uh, piece of redstone. But uh, yeah, those are just small bits. So um, yeah, this was an uh, easy build to do in terms of uh, the redstone. In terms of um, <laughs> how to make it fit into the base, that's. That's another another thing. Anyways, I will continue on, and uh, I'll be back in just a few moments. I'm just gonna position myself here, and I am back. And um, yeah, I'd say that uh, with the things I've done here now, I'd say the basement is complete. 
So, um, first off, uh, I have decorated a little bit, got some lights on the roof, and uh, got some cauldrons out there to um, make it look like I'm storing up water. And uh, as my infinite source of water, I um, made a small area here with what looks like an inflow of water. So the source bug is just right up there, so, uh, well, out of view, out of mind. Out of sight, out of mind, or whatever that thing is. Uh, okay, so, um, got all this set up. And, uh, yeah, there's one thing that, um, that, uh, was, um, in that video that I made a significant change to. Uh, may not have mentioned this before, but I uh, found out that uh, you do not need a um, separate uh, hopper and chest for um, your um, blaze powder in into the uh, brewing stand. You just put all your blaze powder and um, water bottles in just the same chest. Does a Thus I have just modified the original design to incorporate a double chest uh, instead of uh, just two chests uh, <laughs> uh, containing the blaze powder and um, the vault bottles separate. So yeah, just that quick thing. So yeah, and another change I did was um, uh, change the place um, swap the um, iron frames with uh, the signs and uh, actually write what they are as well so um, this is because um, practically you need to access these droppers they act as your storage and dispensers of um, the ingredients and uh, if uh, you had access to something behind an iron frame See, accessing this hopper here, what uh, you get is just a small area you can you can click on. Just uh, well, it's just a couple of pixels, and in a frame. Well, for this one, you have all the space uh, above and and below the sign, and yeah, it's just way more practical to uh, access this at uh, as a storage. So yeah, I did that. And um, to utilize the rest of the space in this basement, I added a uh, storage area. And uh, I used trapdoors as uh, shelves. Though I'm not sure how good idea that actually is, considering um, that I had the alternate between regular chests and trap chests. And you put trap chest on uh, trap doors. Yeah, you get that effect. I just open up and close. But well, <laughs> uh, it's a system. So uh, I'm not sure if we're gonna just tolerate the um, <laughs> weird uh, behavior of these uh, trap doors or. Maybe we're gonna switch around the um, slabs. Yeah. But anyways, that's the storage area. I'm gonna start using it soon. So we we'll just uh, have to finish up um, the upstairs. Uh, gonna put a. Uh, gonna put some railing on this uh, area here. The stairs. Uh, <laughs> we'll put some railing uh, around the stairs so one doesn't just fall down. And um, yeah, got to finish my enchantment room. Oh, got to put those animals back. Had to remove them for doing some of the um, hopper work. Um, I got a unused room here. It's not big, but it's something. Not sure what I'm gonna use it for. Might I found, might figure it out soon. Uh, I think I'll figure it out soon. Uh, 
get that much to use that room for. And of course there's the rest of this open space. Not sure what I'm gonna use it for. Might uh, research some decoration. Find what I can use it for. And it's just a matter of um, putting a bed here and uh, decorating this small bedroom. Putting in some glass and some doors. And then of course the main entrance. Yeah, lots to lots of small things to be done, but um, yeah, I will see about doing something about that. And uh, let's see, so I can get that transition effect. I'm just gonna stare right at that opening, and um, I will be back in just a few moments. Okay, so um, I am back, and. Uh, it's been a couple of days because, um, yeah, um, blame the least recent Steam sales. <laughs> Been playing a lot of XCOM 2 lately, so um, yeah. Anyways, I have, uh, uh, oh yeah, it's been a couple of days since the last recording, and that's yeah. I want to get this finished uh, early in that, but well, time flies. Anyways, um, I got ahead with uh, decorating um, my base a bit, so I'm uh, still quite a bit open in this uh, area, so I um, still need to figure out what to do here, but I will do that later, I think. Maybe I'll build something out here, maybe make this into a proper corridor. <laughs> so, maybe, I'll see how... Um, Maybe I can build something out here. It would be perfect to expand it to rooms or something from out here. Nah, no, maybe. Um, got um, some decoration out in the bedroom. Got my ender chest placed here. Got some cacti and zeppelin and uh, mushroom in pots. Um, general house decoration. Doors with uh, pressure blades. It's almost a given. So um, got my enchantment room already. So uh, let's see. Uh, doesn't look like I get all the uh, levels possible, but at least I get something. Maybe I will expand a bit on it. We'll see. So, uh, down here, I got uh, some of my ingredients placed in. There's my, uh, my original base is a mess, so um, I couldn't find everything, but I think I got most of the stuff. Not sure if I actually have any magma cream or rabbit's foot. Uh, don't have any melons, so no glistering melons yet. But the rest, I got at least some of it. I mean, uh, don't exactly have a good supply of cast hairs. <laughs> but with what I have, I am now gonna attempt to uh, brew a potion of uh, invisibility. See if that works. So there's nether words, golden carrots, and... Um, Let's see, I need a, a fermented eye. And uh, I should have um, some glowstone to make it last long there. Now it's invisibility, no, <laughs> no, redstone to make it longer. That's right. Um, I could do, yeah, I'll do blast, blast potion. <laughs> yeah, because why not? Okay, let's see if this works. Click. And, um. Still waiting. Whoops, it did not work out right. So, um. That's very much the wrong ingredients. Which means that. All right, all right, all right. I made a mistake. I made a mistake. Uh, 
you are supposed to be in the up <laughs> complete other direction. Let's make sure something else is getting wasted through this uh, system. No? Alright, now it's safe. We'll replace the parts that uh, got this replaced here. There we go. Alright, let's do this again. So, um, uh, mounted eye flipped up, redstone flipped up, gunpowder flipped up. Carried flipped up and nether wards flipped up. Let's try this again. There we go. And gunpowder should come along soon. There. Right, there's all the ingredients. Okay. So, um, I'm gonna discuss. Uh, what I'm gonna do for the next episode, and I'm gonna go back here and check on the potion. Just so you know, unless there's some something going on, this will be the last clip of the episode. <laughs> okay. So um, I was wondering what I should do for the next episode. Um, it will either be uh, getting um, something started with the uh, ever round here, or I'm gonna work on my underwater farm. But I uh, had a look at. Uh, well, I was out looking for some more um, uh, weeds for um, for the ingredients. And uh, I'm making books and all that. I look at what uh, Callisto Noir has been working on lately. So, um, I'm not sure, can you. Yeah, you can maybe see it out in the horizons there. Gonna see if I can get a better view. So um, he hasn't had an episode about this thing yet, so um, I guess that will be his next episode. <laughs> this floating island type uh, of a tower. You can see the outline, but not much more on this distance. So because he just made that, I need something to match it. So yeah. The next episode, which I will probably begin with um, uh, today, unless something happens, <laughs> that will be um, getting the the uh, castle or fort or whatever started. So um, not quite sure how I'm gonna do that, but that will be. Uh, a discussion for the opening of uh, the next episode. So I'll just continue talking about that then. <laughs> Alright, let's go down and see if the brewing is complete. And if it is, just splash myself with a portion of invisibility. And yeah. Oh. Let's see. All right. Special portion of visibility. Gotcha. <laughs> mm. um. Grab myself some uh, item. I do plan on getting started on the next. Um, episode right away so I'm just gonna grab stuff I need and um, yeah splash <laughs> and now I am gone and yeah this is the end of this episode so um, 
I will see you in uh, episode 9 in um, not that long for me, probably longer for you, ironically considering the t time uh, between the clips here. So yeah, this was uh, me um, fixing up my new base, well at least that small part of it, and um, I will see you, well, later. Goodbye. Thank you for watching, like and subscribe, and I'm gonna shut up now.